we would see your man boobs. Hey, I'm proud of one. Hello everyone, my name is Steve Carpenter. I'm the founder and CEO of Cake. Hi everyone, I'm Sven Yuki Gord, VP of Engineering here at Cake. Today's 10 10 08. 10 10. So you're watching the Slice. The official video show of Cake Financial. So every week we look at what's happening in the markets based on what real investors are doing. So proven investors on Cake, we look at broad trends and we actually pick out specific stocks for you. That's right. See what these really good investors are doing right. every week. So we let like hundreds of millions and thousands of people tell us what we should be doing. Hundreds and millions and thousands. It's a new number I've just made up. So as we do every week, Sven, I'm going to read, you know, we get deluged with fan mail. You know that, Absolutely right? Absolutely right, Steve. And so this one comes from Engage Guy. Ah, congratulations. We like, we like Engage, Engage people. Guy. Yeah, congratulations. This was sent to us um, over the transom a couple days ago, and it says, Dear Steve, you rule. Thank you, Engage Guy. The funniest thing about this last episode was the letter that was read at the beginning of the show about news. We do like news. And the hosts, oh, us. us, didn't change anything, even though the letter was spot on. They may have good info, Sven and Steve, uh, but the show looks like a local access show. My frame of reference is Wayne's World. Yeah, that's pretty much So local yeah. access from Aurora, Illinois, I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Lose the roaming camera two spot. He doesn't like it roaming, it's too jittery, too MTV for him. And then he says, there were too many ums, ahs, and both hosts slur their words a lot. Well, my problem is I'm Swedish. That's Big my problem. My problem. Huge I don't know problem. what your, your problem is. I'm American. Amer yeah. And it's true, uh, we run uh, Cake Financial like it's a, um, a business in the early 60s. So we do have cocktail hour starting at 11. <laughs> so touche, engage guy, thanks for writing, and um, Tonight is uh, lemon drop mm, night, isn't it? Uh, yeah, today's transition party. Transition. Jello shots, I think, at five. <laughs> All right, Sven. One of our top takes this week. Sticks. Sticks. When I say sticks, what do you think of? Little snacks, like some little long kind of, you know, something you can just nibble, <laughs> nibble on. Seagate Technology. Seagate Technology, good old hardware, uh, hard drive manufacturers. That's right. And they make really small hard drives to really massive hard drives that um, could fill this whole entire studio. Pretty much. What do you think about storage in general? That we need more and more of it because we're trying to save it. Don't you moment. think? You know, things like video. Online video is really what's driving a lot of the storage promise. So this is, uh, this is just storage in general. They're in the, X drive, the Xbox 360, they're in PlayStation. We know that the world is becoming digitized. We know who's using this, right? Governments to spy on us. We need to know when Sven goes to the airport that he's not a terrorist. That's right, which, storage which storage. at least two out of ten times they think you are. That's why I don't fly much anymore. Seriously. So I like it. Yep. Big fan. Okay, moving on. Oh, Sven, this one's genius. Another one of got? our top takes. You got Augsby. I think it's a small little town in the southern part of Sweden, but I'm not sure ever a little bit. No, Is there. it? Yeah. One of the top places in the world to live? No, probably not. O-A-O, <laughs> Gazprom. 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 Our producer just says it's the largest Russian company, period. Wow. They, right? they and they happen to make oil and gas. You know what the second largest Russian company is? Someone that also makes oil and gas? They make toilet paper. Really? Yeah. And you know what the third largest Russian one is? They make vodka and caviar. Vodka and caviar. So it's like yeah. a food chain. <laughs> That's right. So what do you what do you like about this? Well, the, the Russia is going to be a cornerstone in natural resources going forward for the next couple, next couple of de decades. Um, they're just producing more and more oil and natural resource, natural gas. Um, it probably is going to be a strong, um, strong thing. So uh, we know we're running out of oil and gas in our in our world. I'm a huge fan of these plays. Okay, gas okay. pumps big. Moving on. So we're going to check out hidden gems right now. Hidden gems are one of the best investors of cake are holding that no one else really knows about. And on top of that, have had a really good run up for the last 30 days. Yeah, last 30 days had a big run. They're secrets. They're things that we know about and we've chosen to tell. Uh, we kind of extracted viewers. them out of the minds of these really good investors. Yeah. And this week, theme. Hidden gem theme. Hidden gems theme day. Shorts. Shorts. So these are the new Grand Pound okay. shorts. These are the kind of shorts you're actually allowed to buy. I just threw up in my mouth when you said that. <laughs> I actually pictured you with your shorts, with like your, your white legs, with black socks. All right, let's check them out. 
first one, sigil. 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 Pro shares, ultra short, Russell, mid cap value. It's a mouthful. It's gone up 65% in the last 30 days. And that's because mid caps have gone down 32% in that time. Yeah, companies with between 2 billion and 10 billion betting to go down. And what this ETF does is actually takes the inverse times two. So if it goes down by 10%, you make 20% going up. All right, moving on. Next one. Okay. Twim. Pro shares, ultra short, Russell 2000. This is taking the whole 2000 and saying it's not going to go. It's not going to go. It's not going. It's no very buy. similar to the mid cap one, just a different slice of the market and has a similar return in the last couple it's of It's taking weeks. the broader Russell 2000. So this is up almost 60% in the last 30 days. Not surprising. No. Things have been going really bad. Really bad. Last one Evzy. Evzy? This shorts. The MSCIA uh, East Asia um, Exchange Pro Shares up almost 25% in the last 30 days. So this Asia. Is, look at Asia's Asia gone down. going down. But I'm going to do a cliff notes for everybody. Go for uh, it. Small caps are going down. Really small ones. Mid cap ones are going down. Europe, Japan, and Asia are going down. So, and pretty much everything is going down. So, anything you had, which is a short term type of ETF, will probably be a good investment. All right, Sven, that was our show. That's it for this week. I give it an A. <laughs> when well, the market's going down, the slides get stronger. <laughs> we get stronger and stronger. If you want to check out what we're doing in the market, just go to cakefinancial.com. In the top right-hand corner, either enter Sven or Steve and check out what either Steve or Sven are doing. Take care of yourself and one another. Stay classy, internet. See you next week.